that. Now, a pharmaceutical company, Covance, has announced a 10-year deal with France's Sanofi Aventis to conduct all of its research and development. The agreement is worth $2.2 billion. And joining me now from our Paris studio is Joseph Herring, who is the company's chief executive. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, if I can begin just by asking you why this deal makes sense for both companies. Well, Andrew, these are unprecedented times for the pharmaceutical industry uh, uh, with patent expiries and uh, other regulatory hurdles. And uh, improving R&D productivity is really a mandate for the industry. Uh, so this particular arrangement, uh, Covance actually takes over uh, two terrific uh, facilities uh, from Santa Fe Aventis uh, in Porcheville, France, near Paris here, uh, as well as Annick in the north of the UK. Uh, these facilities uh, serviced historically just one company's pipeline and were not as used uh, as uh, often as they would like. Uh, under the terms of this agreement, we will not only uh, be providing work for Sanofi, but uh, market the uh, facilities uh, to other clients on the outside. So we see this, these sites now serving uh, literally hundreds of companies' uh, pipelines. And that is why you would be able to make them work when they were not able to work for Sanofi, is that right? Well, actually, they worked very well for Sanofi, uh, but as uh, they did you know, want Sanofi to has a very them, visionary, uh, yes, uh, their, their visionary CEO has a vision for transforming R&D productivity and wanted to focus more of their efforts into other facilities, uh, freeing these uh, for, for such a transaction. So, so Sanofi actually is going to be able to reduce their R&D spend and uh, focus more on their core competencies. Uh, and, and so it's a win-win for both companies as well as for patients around the world because uh, hopefully we can help speed uh, more other new medicines to market. No, you have promised to keep those two plants open for five years, keep the employees on. What will happen after that? Uh, well, we are going to transform these sites into uh, a competitive CRO. We are particularly interested uh, in more aggressively pursuing the uh, French and Southern European market uh, where we have not been as uh, geographically competitive as we are in other parts of the world. Uh, uh, these particular uh, sites do a lot of toxicology testing as well as analytical chemistry testing and we're the global leader uh, in those services but without a, uh, a French uh, location we were uh, not as competitive and so we see bringing lots of other uh, clients into this business and having it grow over the next five years and far beyond. Now, would you ever consider um, developing your own drugs, or is R&D the speciality that you'll stay in? Well, Andrea, we wake up every day thinking about how we can help our clients reduce the time and cost of drug development. So our goalpost is getting clients to an IND or a CTA, which allows them then to go into patients for clinical testing and hit the second milestone, which is to show the drug is safe in patients and effective for its intended use. Uh, in fact, we uh, have helped develop one-third of all drugs on the market today, and uh, including uh, the 25 uh, uh, largest selling prescription medicines. We actually generate more drug safety and efficacy data uh, to support uh, approval of new medicines to the FDA and EMEA and other global regu regulatory agencies than any other organization in the world. Okay, Joseph Herring, thank you very much indeed for joining us.